Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That the journey begins with knowledge. That when Allah asking us to stop in a month and the whole month to fast, to reach a state of taqwa and consciousness and to be conscious of our taste, our food, our condition and to read Holy Qur'an, to pray, to praise, to recite. Then Allah inspire within the first surah, Alif Lam Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alif Lam Mim Dhalik al Kitab Allah Rayba Fi Fi Khudan al Mutaqeen. We were just asked that in our office before we came out. And it shows you that this journey, if you take a regular path, it's a completely different understanding. You open Qur'an and begin to read. If you take a path with these only Allah whom Allah has blessed and dressed them from Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin that Allah says, I'm with them and this is the best of company, means that they teach us the taqwa that they were taught is a taqwa from all five senses and that as soon as they begin their journey it's encoded. So people say, Alif Lam Mim, don't worry about it, it's just unconnected letters. One who doesn't know says, don't worry about it, it's unconnected letters. But the one who knows, say, no this is a key. This is right when our journey is going to begin. If you have the key, it's like the train track, move this way, you're on the path of Alif Lam Mim. And only Allah come and teach this secret of our whole existence is in Izzatullah. When Allah gives His Alif and the 24,000 meanings for every letter, that this Izzatullah is now going to give us a hint of this story of creation and this journey where is it exactly going. And the Izzatullah comes and begins to show that my might and my majesty is a power for everything and you'll never reach to it because I have no partner. You may know of it, you may try to witness some of it. And that Alif begins to teach us that what you should be seeking the reality of is this Lam, this soul of Sayyidina Muhammad which is Allah's ancient tongue, Lisan al Qadim, the ancient tongue that Allah created to speak on his behalf because Allah wanted to be known and is a hidden treasure wanting to be known. So Allah wanting to be known creates the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and that reality was created only to make Allah known. What type of purity, what type of truth, what type of reality? Because dunya people think from dunya, oh are you talking about this gentleman who came from the, the, the desert? And then they make it very humanistic, say, no, no, this, that was the physical body and the noble physical body of Sayyidina Muhammad but before all of that, when Allah wanted to be known in the world of light which its beginning is completely unknown, when it began we have no understanding of it. When Allah wanted to be known He created the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and made him the Khalifa, made him the source of all angels, all heavens, all paradises, all rivers, all streams. All creation would be coming from this noble soul. So then you're wondering if there's any other deputy, if there's any other representative. When this soul was created only for the purpose of representing Allah a 
I want it to be known. It's the only purpose I created. So Allah is known through His creation. Created beautiful flowers from the same Gul Muhammadi, Nur Muhammadi Created immense and vast universes from this Nur Muhammadi So what to Allah would be known to be glorified. When you look at Allah's creation you're required to say, SubhanAllah, Ya Rabbi your, your glory beyond imagination how you create all these things. And that's all how Allah wanted to be known. Create these immense creations, immense beauty, immense glorifications all from this lisan, all from this reality. And then Allah give us a hint that look and unlock the reality of this meme. Fi sama ismuhu Sayyidina Mahmud and fil ard Sayyidina Muhammad and to him belong infinite names that Allah has dressed. So then awliyaullah gave, these are like a sign on this super highway, super speed highway like beyond bullet train highway. Which way are you going? We're going Alif Lam Meem Ya Rabbi, we're going. Dhalik al-Kitab for verily this book La Rayba Fi has no crookedness. And Allah highest technology, light encrypted technology, that Allah's kitab in which everything was written from that lamb, every story that would be written, every creation that comes into existence, its sustenance, its purpose, its life and its death is written in a book, in a book of light. If the only light Allah created is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Oneness, wahdaniya, Allah ahadiya, the Creator, there's nothing like unto Allah and He created everything from one source, a ruhul wahid. I created everything in truth, this ruhul wahid is haqq, it's hayyan qayyum. And Allah give to us ذلك الكتاب الرَّيْبَ فِي That oh you people who are going with awliyaullah, the book of Allah is the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and there's nothing of Im anything to imagine of crookedness. Everything written and dressed upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is completely in truth. But it's a guidance only for the mutaqeen. Hudan al mutaqeen. Because they train and they took a path in which to be trained by mutaqeen. And the mutaqeen trained them that Allah wants all your senses under His taqwa. So you ask other people, I don't know what videos they make for taqwa, you get a sense of what people are talking and be conscious of God, fear God, fear God. No, 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 it's not like that only. Your ears have to be trained in Allah's way that you don't hear bad, you don't listen to bad, you don't let the, the devil to whisper into your ear. The ear is not the house of the shaitan to keep finding a, a company with you to whisper in. They cleaned that a long time ago. It's as if he's urinating in your ear when he talks to you. They don't let the, the waste of shaitan enter into their ear. So they were trained on how to make their sami, their hearing to be mutaqeen. They clean it, clean it, clean it and they only want to hear good, they only want to hear salawat, they only want to hear Holy Qur'an, they only want to be in the company of dhikrullah. As a result Allah gave them a perfection in their hearing. So they inherit from Sayyidina Yaseen, Yaqeen as Sami, they perfect the perfected hearing for all creation. Begin to perfect their hearing and that has a direct connection into their soul because their soul moves through their ear. When the ear is so clean as soon as a certain salawat and love and Qur'an is recited, Allah can pull the soul out of their body, gives the permission. 
and these are the people of Hal. Why they have a Hal? Because Allah cleaned their ears because this is a passageway for the reality of the soul to come out. It hears an immense praising, feels an immense energy and Allah gives permission for these mutaqeen their souls to come out and begin to experience what Allah wants them to experience. Their eyes trained with mutaqeen that they kept nazar ba qadam, they don't look at people, they don't look at what's not allowed for them, they don't look at haram and they don't look at anything that would contaminate their eyes and then from their eyes would contaminate their heart and bring a darkness on the heart. This is why pornography is and, and every type of evilness is being propagated by shaitan. Shaitan knows how to close these points. If you look down in life, clean and purify your vision, Allah begin to open the vision of your heart because your physical eyes were cleaned, they didn't contaminate the heart and Allah you were trained then to look down, meditate, contemplate, close these eyes that what I'm looking for is not in my physical eyes and Ramadan is every day for them. Ramadan for normal people is just this one month they're going to try to abstain. They probably curse and yell and scream all day long at people because they're hungry and angry. It's a mutaqeen. Every day is, is Ramadan for them. Every day they're abstaining. Every day they're abstaining on all these senses. They abstain from their ears. They abstain from their eyes, they purified their vision to the best that they can in the vicinity and the control where they are. The more harmful around you, the more reward from Allah If Allah wanted it to be easy, He would have sent all the mutaqeen into the desert and said, go sit out there where there's nobody to look at, oh you're going to raise to such a high station easy. That wasn't about it. That was to be around every type of forbidden and keep your eye on your feet. Don't look, don't engage in it to the best of your ability, control yourself from it, Allah going to give you immense reward. And that's why in the last days the more the badness, the more quicker the rewards are coming for the believers because Allah knows the difficulty, this is being graded on a scale. Allah says, I know I intensed everything around you, every type of wicked song, there's not a single song that has a nice word in it. You abstain yourself from that, Allah has an immense reward coming to you. I even ask the children, just listen to something you can't even understand the language. If you have to listen to something, dun, 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 at least put a song you don't have the language, you don't have to hear these bad words continuously going into your heart. So they purified their hearing, purified their eyes, trained on how to purify their breath, the importance of a breath. They didn't get around carcinogenic elements and smoke and contaminants because they knew that every breath coming in was pure for them, was an energy for them, was a means in which to see their Lord. The pure the breath, the energy of the breath that comes in gives them more yaqeen more ability for their heart to one day open and see what Allah wants them to see. Their sense and touch was to be purified and perfected so that they're subtle in their touch, they're not numb to the world. They're subtle in their energy training, immediately they can feel something's not right. Somebody walked into a room with a lot of heebie-jeebies on them and they become attacked and they feel it. Most people are numb, they walk with all sorts of demons around them, shayateen on top of them, crabs and lobsters and snakes and rats and roaches all over them from the unseen world and they're just working happily because they're numb. It's like they're behind an iron curtain, they feel nothing because their heart is dead. But when you become subtle in your sense of touch, you feel everything. Because you trained your energy to be sensitive to everything, you feel good 
and you feel bad right away when things are bad. So their sense of the mutaqeen is hyper alert and their sense of taste. Means that when Allah open all their senses to be sincere, the last He opens for them is the sense of taste, the dhawq, that they taste the reality. Whatever is being accomplished in the zikr, they're tasting it, they're hearing it, they're seeing it, they feel it so much that they can taste it. You don't have to tell them when the month opened, they tasted the tajalli. Crazy people who don't even accept a computer and scientific proof and verification. They're not a people from dunya, they taste the tajalli that Allah is sending. They sense it because the mutaqeen hyper alert like a radar medical machine that their ears are sensing the tajalli and the change. Their spiritual vision is sensing a tajalli and a change. The breath and the energy they're breathing, they sense the spiritual change. As a result of all of those Allah changes their tongue and they inherit from this grand lisan. From this alif, lam, meem, they are inheritors of that lam. So Allah dressing them and saying, every time and anyone says alif, lam, meem, it dresses you because you're an inheritor of that reality. They dress and they inherit from this lisan al-haqq. They inherited the tongue of truth from Sayyidina Muhammad which came down to the companions as lisan al-Siddiq al-Ali. In Surah 19, lisan al-Siddiq al-Ali, the most high tongue of truth. And Allah described, whom we granted wisdom has been granted a great reward. The, ge- the greatest gift that Allah can give to His servant is wisdom on this tongue of truth and this tongue most high. This is Allah's gift to whom He loves, not money, not possessions, not anything. But I granted you wisdom, ilm al wa hikmati bi saliheen and that inherit from this tongue of truthfulness this tongue most high. And this is their journey and anyone who accompanies these mutaqeen, they're training them in all these meditation, muraqaba, tafakkur, whatever you want to call it. They're training them how to hear, clean your hearing, how to see, clean your seeing, how to breathe and perfect your breath. How to speak and abstain, take the fire off your tongue so Allah can send nur upon the tongue. He says, from, if they yelp and, and scream and talk bad from their tongue, imagine what's in their heart. Allah describes in Qur'an, if what came from their mouth is displeasing to you, what in their heart is far worse. The mouth is a symbol of a heart, if a mouth is bad the heart is worse. But if the mouth is spewing haqqaiqs and love for Sayyidina Muhammad then Allah is describing then the heart is much more intense and you have no idea what's in that heart. We pray that Allah grant us you know, the realities of Ramadan to reach towards these realities and we reach by love not by anything else. If that which you love you accompany it and you accompany with an open heart and love, they begin to reflect that reality upon the servants of Allah Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.